Yo, you two. King Games the first tier, and we finally have all eight badges and PC boxes full of leveled EV train books. It's at this point we're basically just cheesing our opponents. Almost every hit is a one hit KO. With no holds barred, we have so many team options. Semifinals begin. Please like and subscribe and enjoy the video. to the train station. Oh, there's all of this. Hey, got a little cheering squad, yeah? Does that mean I couldn't leave if I wanted to? Uh, oh. Wait up, King Games, I'm coming too. I had Raihan beat in no time, did you know? Once I got my head on straight and stopped doubting every decision I made, that is. <laughs> Good for you, Hop. And you never stop nattering on through the through the entire battle. You're pretty different from the champion in that. But your strength is genuine, as proven by the dragon badge you won for me. You came at me with all the force of a raging storm, and even I was blown away. Listen up, you two. Battle your way through the Champion Cup tournament to face Leon. One of you ought to. Well, it's gonna be me. I reckon I'm still the favorite to win, but I'm up against my true rival, King Games. So I'll ring out every last thing I learned during my battle with you, Raihan, to beat him. So get a move on, King Games. The train's waiting. Hmm. Gonna take another selfie? been here before finally headed for Winden there's a lot that I want to check out there there's that big tower and the monorail and Winden Stadium where the whole of Galar no the whole world is gonna be watching us you get it right you and me are gonna make our match there against the greatest match that ever was Wonder what scenery would appear if all the snow on Route 10 melted away. Who knows? All right, what we got out here? I assume there's going to be some kind of a victory road type thing. Yep. So this is Route 10. It's like a wall made out of snow. Bet there'll be ice type Pokemon crawling out of the woodwork in a place like this. Mm. Oh, reckon we'll be able to train ourselves up to new heights to here before the Champion Cup starts. I believe in myself and the Pokemon on my team, and I know we'll all get loads stronger. So I'm off. See you in Winden, mate. So should I swap somebody out? I didn't really bring anything specific for ice. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> what is that hanging out of your nose? You need a tissue? nothing. Are you going to have ice types as well? Eh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Do you have any injured Pokemon? I'm a doctor. That's creepy. Dr. Graham. Oh, Gardevoir. Hmm. I could see... Toxtricity is like a double-edged sword here, isn't he? Oh, you only have one Pokemon? Let's see if the scope lens helps us out here. Huh. All right, well, you see who I brought. <laughs> What's this? What's this? My Pokemon ended up injured. Yep, got a little uh, little backup from one of my all-time favorites on my team right now. So if you didn't see it, you'll just have to wait. This trainer, hello. Only do what you can. Taking risks while mountain climbing is dangerous, is it? 
Hiker Douglas. Well, you probably have a rock type because you're a hiker. Oh, uh, well, almost. So you ground steel. The steel still doesn't resist water, does it? So I should still hit super effective? Yep. Kapow! And you're physically defensive, not special. Not over who you got, Mudsdale. I'm afraid it's much the same. All right, anyone else? You won't be able to beat a strong opponent without pushing the limits of what's possible. You say so. Oh, look. Larry and Mr. Mime. Do I have one? Good. That's a Sneasel. Jeez. Aggressive little fucker. Oh shit. Really? Okay, yep. I already have one, so I'm not gonna fuck with. Oh! Hello? Really? <laughs> I get more nervous about battles than work. Okay. Office worker Ronald. Get off the phone, bro. I'm having a battle. So, I really still feel like, because like, I brought no one good for this. Like, maybe a uh, Tyranitar? I don't really need anyone else. Inteleon, you got this. Definitely got this with Rock Psychic. When I do business, I'm called a businessman. So when I battle, should I be called a battleman? I mean, I guess, but... Probably not. Sounds weird. Alright, yep. Just caught one of you. I have an item here, yep. Comet shard. Okay, okay. The post. I wonder just how long we can keep on carrying letters like this. What do you mean? Postman Harper. Do you have drizzle? Yes, you do. All right, well, just give me an excuse to swap. Probably be faster. Maybe not. I've got some EV training done in the sky. Ha! Nice. Knocked out. Oh no. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh. Ooh. That could have been bad. I don't know how much damage would a level 46 really do to me. Like, I might be able to wake up, right? I lost. When I think about it, I didn't want it to ever end. Okay, you want an endless Pokemon battle? No thanks. How do you know who won? Do you know the old legend that says that Galar is doomed if Corviknight ever disappear? Why is that? Cabby Joffrey. Oh, okay. You're just biased towards Corviknight, I see. So, the steel resist ice? Yeah, I think it does. So, I mean, it's been doing pretty well so far. I could have, I mean, I could have swapped into Toxicity. Sure. But, why bother? I have one of those. Okay. I actually don't know much about the old Corviknight legend. Oh, well. So maybe you don't know what you're talking about, and if Corviknight disappeared, the Galar region would be perfectly fine. But Corviknight's cool. I wouldn't want it to disappear. Oh, oh geez. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that is kind of scary. A fucking giant ice bear just coming at you. Oh, man. All right, where is... Ah, here we go. There's an item. Power herb. Oh, okay. It's all right. Waha, a Pokemon trainer. What should I do? I don't really want to battle. Well, don't then. I, I mean, I'm not forcing you. Hiker Donald. I mean, you're the one who's all on site. Uh, I'd say I'd end it quickly, but you probably have 30. Unless you have Sandstream. Yes, you do. All right, that means no sturdy. So I will do you the favor of ending it quickly then. Let's go Scald. Not that the result's much different, right? <clears throat> oh, and you have more than one Pokemon. Right on, okay. On to the next. I think I got mixed up somewhere around my first Pokemon. <laughs> All right, Walter. The way you carry yourself, you are something. Ah, yeah, well, thank you for the compliment. Gentleman Glenn. Ooh, Darmanitan. I suppose I could switch here, right? No, still, this answer is going to always be the same. I think, I can't remember if ice is effective against rock or not, or if it's the other way around. So, rather than risk Tyranitar, Tyranitar going down, 
Uh, let's just let's go with the safe bet. I did not catch. I don't know, I just think it looks kind of, uh, you know. <laughs> All right, who is your last? Grap locked. That one that be coming for me in the water. <laughs> um, I think it's gonna be water fighting, right? Something like that. Ooh, nice. Let's go overdrive, because I'm pretty sure it's a water type. Why would it be in the water if it wasn't right? What? Well, it still did a shit ton of damage, so I'll take it. Um, I don't really need Hydro Pump. It's not accurate enough for me. Oh, your Pokemon are simply marvelous. Well, thank you. And I'm sure they would thank you as well. Uh, um, you know what? Might as well. Alright, and you know what? Just to switch it up a bit. It's been a while. I'm glad we can meet up again. Let's see how strong you've gotten. Great Pokemon and trainers really shine with something special when they're on camera. If you say so, then I'll just take you both down again. How about that? Interviewers Gillian and Cam. Oh, you both have two Pokemon. What, how many you had last time? I don't remember. So I should, you know what, I'm going to do a double switch, you'll never see it coming. Change the weather and everything. I don't think it is for what I'm trying to do here. Now, could Kling Clang have um, Levitate? Is that one of its abilities? It's kind of, kind of might suck if it does. So we protect myself and then Earthquake. Oh, you bastard. But at least Kling Kling doesn't have Levitate. Ow. Um, okay. Can dig it. Let's go... Wait, no way. Hold on. You have... You don't. So, we're not going to do that. We're going to rock slide. And then hope we don't miss. Um... Try 
to get this guy out of here. Huh. Okay, well, extra drill strong. I ran a tar pretty strong too. Nuzzle. Okay, so Earthquake's still a bad move here, but maybe, maybe um, Rock Slide will hit. And I think, I think we just Smart Strike. Okay, well, all I need to do is hit it with the Rock Slide then. It might have slowed me down enough to go first though, yep. But you still go down. What strength? I'm at a loss for words. Nice work, everyone. I lost, but it's all right. I was able to assess your strength. Where are you now? Think I'll become champion? <laughs> That's it. up here oh shit this looks cool Hey, you know where I'm headed. All right. You guys sell. All right, Winden City. This is the place where I become a legend at last. You get it, don't you, mate? After all, I'm about to become the new champion of the Galar region. That's it. I am headed straight for Winden Stadium. Don't waste too much time, King Games. You should head there yourself. Yeah, 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 but they might have some really cool clothes. <laughs> All right, we are rocking some ghost gear. My favorite type, after all. I feel like I should bring Gengar, but... I don't know. This is probably not the best, like, well-rounded team for getting through uh, whatever's to come here. Probably going to need a little bit more variety, but my Pokemon are super strong, right? So... I'd like to invite some of the fine trainers flourishing in Galar back to my own region. Where are you from, mate? It came all the way from Unova, so I might as well give everything a try, including Pokejobs. What you got? Ooh, oh, I need some of these. <gasps> no way! You, you sell them right fucking here? Holy shit. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a note of this. This changes everything. $10,000. Wait. Can you still only do a maximum of eight, though? Okay, I'm... I'm mm, mm. That is so tempting. Huh? 
Chances are I won't need these, right? But never hurts to have. Hmm. Surprised I haven't found any by now. Or been gifted any. This isn't even... I'm totally wrong building, right? Yep. I need to go this way. There it is. Straight inside, all right. No checking for all eight badges first, or does that happen here? Oh, hey, Fran. Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. I can tell you're following your dreams, and that means, you guessed it, I've got a Pokeball for you. Dream ball. <laughs> a somewhat different Pokeball that makes it easier to catch wild Pokemon while they're asleep. Really? Pokemon that are asleep are easy to catch, but did you ever want it to be even easier? Well, the Dream Ball will make your dreams come true. Have your Pokemon use Hypnosis or Yawn to put the opponent to sleep, and then give it a try. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Yeah, I don't think I knew about the Dream Ball. Is that from previous gens, or is that new? King Games, correct? We've been watching over your performance in the Gym Challenge. This is just a formality, of course, but I'll need to check your Gym Badges if you don't mind. I'm all sorted and ready to battle you on the biggest stage of them all. But it looks like Bede couldn't make it. Hard luck. Damn. Somehow I didn't think he'd just take being disqualified lying down, you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess it is what it is. Come on, King Games, we should head to the locker room. Attention gym challengers who have made it through the gym challenge. The semifinals will be starting soon. Please head to the stadium pitch when you are ready. Let's go! Go, who am I gonna battle first? <laughs> Marnie, all right. Battled you not that long ago. Heh, I knew you'd get all the badges and meet me here. I know that there's been a lot between us, what with my big brother, Team Yell, helping Spike Muth and all that. But the truth is, when all's said and done, I really just want to become champion for myself. So don't take it personal when I kick your butt. Oh, if you say so. We can Dynamax, right? You've got Dark types mostly, so Togekiss could just squash you pretty easily. I gotta win this if I'm gonna be the champion. I'm coming at you with everything I've got. Okay, so I could, I could Dynamax and go with the Max U strategy, right? Let's see what Overdrive does with the Magnet. Oh, you are faster, quite a bit. I didn't check their levels, what level are you? 47. All right, yeah, I'm probably still going to just sweep. Scrafty. No worries. Take you out, too. Well, you probably have, what, Fake Out? If I had to guess, the next move you're going to use is going to be Fake Out. No. Okay. Still the AI, right? Oh, that's what I'm going to blame it on. <laughs> hey, Toxic Croak. I can still just overdrive. Okay. Oh, no. Sorry, Marnie. My Pokemon just love me. 
Oh, the two I use berries on, anyway. <laughs> Pico. So you are electric type. I should probably switch then, yeah? Let's get a sand stream going. even do what is that is that the one where I can't use the same move twice in a row well I don't need to okay and who have you not used oh so you'll have a grim snarl by now right Ooh, which is actually part fairy. This might be bad. I've got everyone's cheers back in me. I'm really, really going to win this time. Got it? Okay. Say that now. Uh, do I not really have a choice here? So you're dark fairy. Uh, none of these moves will be super effective. Um, uh, but if I switch, I just take a really bad hit, right? So I kind of have to. So let's go with the stab, Max Rockfall. So he's probably going to hit me with Max Starfall, if I had to guess. My bro might not use it, but I'll Gigantamax my Pokemon if it's to win. I still don't know how to do that, right? Like, for the Pokemon that have another form. So, by the way, my everyone on my current team has been fed 10 Dynamax candies. So, I don't know if there's another step I need to take or, or what it is. Probably faster. Yep. Ooh, hate to see it, but love to see it. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> okay, so I lost. But I got to see a lot of the good points of you and your Pokemon. Well, that's a good way to look at it, Marnie. Congratulations for being a good sport. Everyone in the stadium was watching us during all that. I heard them cheering for me and my Pokemon. It was nice. I may have lost, but at least we drove the audience wild. Guess that's not so bad. I suppose you're right. I think I'll join my brother in the stands and we'll watch from the, from the sidelines to see who ends up challenging the champion. Just so you know, I still haven't decided if I'm going to cheer for you. See ya. <laughs> oh, it's all right, Marnie. You don't have to be my cheerleader. <laughs> King Games, I'll be waiting for you in the final match. After seeing the way you battled, I can't accept any outcomes besides winning this match. My team is on fire. Cool. Okay, what's next? Pardon me. I know you didn't get a long break, but the match before yours ended more quickly than expected. Challenger Hop won quite handily, so as soon as you're ready, we'd like you back on the pitch. Okay, okay, I'm down. Uh, should I just assume they healed my Pokemon up? Did. Okay, so what if I opened with Max Stream, intending to switch into Excadrill, and then if I really need to not do that, I can switch into Rayquaza, or I can Gigantamax with, who can change the weather, Drizzile? Uh, 
Oh, up already. Okay, I just had this sort of flashback, you know? Remember, back when we were still in Postwick? When we got our Pokemon from Lee that day, I never would have dreamed that I'd end up standing here, facing you of all people. Well, I mean, <laughs> okay, but it's time, to f uh, time I finish what was started that day. Got it? The one who will become champion is me. It's like kind of the formula for almost every Pokemon game that we end up challenging each other at the end, but hey, it's not like I've been playing since Yellow or anything, so what do I know? There you go, double. At least, you know, you're loyal. <laughs> so they're pretty much always going to... We battled back in the garden, but I'm really fired up for this match in the stadium. Uh, but I was going to say, they're pretty much always going to Dynamax only with their last Pokemon, right? So... Earthquake has better accuracy, I believe. Ooh, but it doesn't one-shot. Okay. What does that do? Defense? Well, it's too late. All right, we'll go with a stab crunch. Finish you off. All right, who do I remember you having? Sandaconda? You have a Snorlax. I do not have a fighting type. But you're especially defensive, right? I can't remember. I know you have a lot of HP. Ooh, okay. Damn. How's that? I learned a lot by studying Lee's old matches. I mean, you're slowed down now? Yeah, I'm just going to finish you off, so it's, it's like... Alright, so that's at least a two for one for me. Okay, got Corviknight. Ooh, are you faster, though? I feel like I can't risk it, right? Uh, you kind of have to go shredder here. Scary face, so you're gonna slow me down. Okay, I think that gives Corviknight the advantage. Mm, okay, well that's not gonna do much, right? Oh, come on, Hop. You can do better. I knew you'd be aiming for a super effective hit. Well, kind of just sat there and took it. Use drill pack, bro. <laughs> In Kirchen. Okay, you have Volt Absorb, probably. I'm going to bring Tyranitar back out. And stream again. And then I think I'll switch straight into Excadrill and probably finish up with that. Nothing. Alright, let's get this Excadrill. Oh, and your last Pokemon will be uh, Cinderace, so Excadrill will one shot that. No problem. Use an electric move. Ha 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 ha. 
Okay. Sand rush means you go down. You know, I'm going to I'm not going to Dynamax only because I th I want to see if I can still one shot with this thing. Soft sand, sandstorm, max attack. Think you got me backed into a corner? No way. And then, sorry, I missed the rest of it. <laughs> all right, I think I can one-shot you even if I don't Dynamax, so let's see. <laughs> Release all the thoughts poured into my Wishing Star. Time for a Dynamax. Plus, if this goes horribly wrong, I just, you know, bring out Inteleon and then kill him. See what we got. Ha! All right, you fool, stand no chance. Okay. Good try, though. Oh, you seem so upset. <laughs> King Games, thanks, mate. I'm really glad you were the one here with me. <laughs> and the victor of the semifinals, the challenger who has won their way through all of the many hopeful trainers in the gym challenge is Challenger King Games. You know, even when Sonia was saying that you and me looked like we could become heroes, I never, I really never felt like one. Damn, but you, mate. I think maybe you really could do all sorts of great things. Good on you, King Games. And Tyranitar and all the rest of your team. Well, thank you. That sounded kind of heartfelt. Hey, doing that stupid pose. Uh, King Games, that was incredible. Brilliant. Honestly, there were even tears rolling down my face before I knew it. To think that the two of you set out together from the same town, built up the greatest teams, and arrived here at this point to throw everything you had at one another. That burning desire to win, those moves filled with undefeatable passion, it was battling at its very purest in every possible way. Even though there were some trainers who weren't sure whether you were fit to be endorsed for the gym challenge at first, that was you, Lee. <laughs> well then, all the more reason. My team members and I will give everything that we've got in us in order to defeat our challenger. And the challenger standing before us might well end up being you, King Games. Well, it's gotta be me, right? In fact, that's precisely what I'm hoping for. That's right, King Games. The real challenge is what's coming next. And I'm completely exhausted. I just want to head back to the hotel and rest. Best to fill your... Best to refill your energy stores first. Why don't we go get some dinner together? I wouldn't say no, but you never care at all what food tastes like, Lee. <laughs> a night like this deserves more than rubbish takeaway, so at least pick something good. Okay. <laughs> Damn. What do we got? Challenger King Games. Hey, Challenger King Games. Got some time for questions? First question. Uh, okay. You and Challenger Hop were both endorsed by the champion, making the two of you rivals in a sense, wouldn't you say? How does it feel to have defeated your rival? I'm glad I could beat him. Right. Question number two. If you wanted to tell Challenger Hop something right now, what would it be? Hmm. I'd thank him for the great match. How about that? Question three. Level with me, kiddo. Your honest thoughts here. Think you can win the final two? I absolutely do. All right, that's enough. King Games is already tired from battle, am I? And you've been asking rather rude questions. We've got ourselves dinner plans with my brother, so sorry, but clear off already, would you? Yes, yes, I understand. Looking forward to seeing the birth of a new star. All right. 
Phew, famous people sure have it rough, eh? <laughs> I guess. I hope Lee gets here soon. I could eat my own arm about now. Well, if Charizard, you know, leads him here, then he'll make it just fine. Several hours later, jeez. This is absurd. Even Lee's never this late. Something's not right. He always does what he says he'll do. As a kid, he promised me he'd become champion one day, and he went and did just that. He ought to be able to keep his own dinner plans. Kid sure got a mouth on him, huh? If you were that noisy during battle, you'd unleash a whole new level of power, you know. Oh, pack it in, Pierce. I'm seriously worried here. So I don't need to see your smug mug looking like you're having a go at me, even though you act like you're giving me good advice. Judging by appearances, no wonder you lost to your mate. If you're looking for the champion, I saw him heading, heading to Rose Tower. Why would he go there? You know what he's up to, but I ran into him at the monorail platform. He said to tell you that he had something to do at Rose Tower, so he'd be late to your dinner. But why Rose Tower? What could he have to do there at this hour? Hmm, good question. Piers, do us a favor. Take us to Rose Tower, would you? Neither Kings nor I, neither King Games nor I know the way. Sheesh, what rude siblings, always so demanding of others. Though I suppose it's a real problem for me too if the finals are held up for any reason. And I don't really hate the two of you little runts. <laughs> you were good enough to beat me after all. So I think I'll invite Team Yell along and we'll all have ourselves a bit of fun, shall we? <laughs> oh, brilliant. You're the best, Piers. Let's go make a real ruckus. Okay. All right, well, for now, I think I'm going to call it there, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. You guys take care.